it's Lindsay with Dear Lindsay and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my channel, channel, channel. Um, so I have the TP up, so don't mind my background. Um, with this whole quarantine thing, we are going to new levels in our homeschool. I'm just kidding. Um, we have decided to pull the TP out so we can do school in there, read in there, and the kids just pulled it out, so I didn't put it up. So don't mind my background. Um, in this video, I am doing another collaboration with Miss Ingrid over at the Ingrid Chronicles and some other um, homeschooling families, mamas, and I will have Miss Ingrid's channel in the link linked in the description below, along with the playlist so you guys can check out all the other videos that will be in this collaboration. So what collaboration is this? This is do's and don'ts of homeschooling. And so far, we have all had different responses, which is awesome. So um, don't forget to head over and check out the other mama's videos. And I have four do's and four don'ts that I plan to share with you guys. And these are in no particular order. And also, there are so many that I want to list off. These are just the four that I wrote down. Um, I have my notebook uh, that I wrote down to share with you guys. And like I said, there are a lot. So I will go over the don'ts first. And then I will go over the do's. Okay, number one. Don't compare your kids or your homeschool to others homeschooling or their kids. Do not compare. And what I mean by this is, do not compare your child to another child that may be further along in one subject or anything to that sense. Our kids are unique. We, as individuals, are unique. Our learning styles are different. Our interests are different. Your kids' interests are different. So do not compare yourself. It's a horrible habit and it's super hard to break uh it's just that's the number one do not compare it is happens so often so often and believe me I know it is hard to break that habit like I know um sometimes I still catch myself doing it and I have to reassure myself that I can't do that it's not good so don't compare to others at all. Okay, the second don't I have is don't over schedule yourself. Um, if you're brand new to homeschooling and you're just now getting into it, it can happen. Over scheduling can happen. I know that I wanted to schedule for all the things, all of them, co-op, library classes, Field trips, all of it. And overscheduling is a thing. It can happen. And it can lead to burnout super, super quick. So be mindful and don't overschedule yourself. Sometimes I still catch myself trying to overschedule even though I have been homeschooling for six years. It's, it's hard because there are awesome things out there that you just want to do all of it. Um, so try to pick and choose wisely so that you don't over um, schedule yourself so you don't get burnout. Um, burnout is definitely a thing and yes. So try not to over schedule. Try to just kind of go with the flow and add a few things here and there and then you can kind of get comfortable and then start adding more things in so that you guys can have fun. I mean it, it is so easy to over schedule yourself. And the next thing is do not knock someone else's homeschool, which just kind of falls in the do not compare, um, but it's a little different because there are many different homeschooling styles, many different homeschooling styles. So someone may homeschool with a charter school. Some may Charlotte Mason their homeschool. Some may unschool. Some may fun school. Some may... The possibilities are literally endless. So do not knock somebody else's style of homeschooling. 
Uh, it's not everybody's cup of tea. We all have different styles. Again, we all learn differently. Our children learn differently. We teach differently. So don't knock somebody else's style because what's working for them may not work for you. And what's working for you may not work for everybody else. So do not, do not knock other homeschool styles or other families homeschooling style. My last don't is don't feel like a failure. Again, this is going to be another hard one uh, because we can always get sucked into that vortex of self-doubt and circles back to the comparing. So don't feel like a failure. We all have bad days. We all have hard days. We all have super rough days and it can be overwhelming and it's okay. So don't feel like a failure because you are not a failure. You are going to rock this homeschool and you are going to rock it hard. Okay. It, you are going to look back and be like, man, I rocked this week in homeschool. So don't feel like a failure. If you miss a day, don't feel like a failure. If you miss an assignment, don't feel like a failure. It is okay. That is, that is the beauty of homeschooling is we're on your terms. So don't feel like a failure. Now let's get into the do's. So <clears throat> number one, do expect mistakes. Mistakes are proof that you are trying. I have that quote on my wall so that I can remind myself that we all make mistakes. We all learn from mistakes. And if you have mistakes, it's showing that you are trying to do something, that you are trying to put forth the effort into whatever it is that you are trying to teach, trying to learn, and it's okay. And it shows the kids that it's okay to make mistakes. I make mistakes, especially if you're reading aloud to your kids and you slip up on a word. It's good for them to see that, oh, Mom slips up, so it's okay if I slip up sometimes too, you know? So don't be afraid to make mistakes. So do expect mistakes and accept them and then just move on. The next one is I have join a community. A community as in you can search Facebook and find some awesome Facebook um, homeschool groups and they don't even have to be homeschool families. You can find awesome friends with kids in public school. I have plenty of both public school friends and I have friends that we met in a homeschool Facebook group. So joining a community so that your kids have friends, you as a mom has friends because we all know that it can get lonely, lon lonely, lonely while homeschooling and it's nice to have others to talk to and it's nice to be able to get out and go hang out with them. So join a community that could be a co-op, that could be just an outside activity, that could be you can get lucky like I did and find an amazing local homeschool community where we have quite a few and I hope wherever you are that you can find that because a community is amazing to have. It's nice to have other support so you can talk to your friends and be like, okay, well, I'm having a rough time with this because then they can come back and be like, okay, well, maybe you should approach it this way or I know how you're feeling. So it's nice to have that community, the reassurance and pretty much build a family, a homeschooling family, a friendly family. And it is amazing to have a community. Uh, I'm so blessed and lucky to have such an awesome community that I am part of. Um, the next one is load up on hands-on activity. If y'all have been here a while, you know that I love, absolutely love, hands-on activities. I'm all about the experience it, hands-on, get it done. So if you can, try to add as much hands-on into your homeschool as possible. Kids will respond to that. At least mine do. But mine are also very hands-on learners. So again, that could also play into how your kids learn. It is fun. Not only is it fun for the kids, it's fun for me. I enjoy hands-on activities. So I try to add as many hands-on activities. And it does get a little harder when they get a little older. But there definitely are resources 
for hands-on activities for older kids as well. Um, so do add in hands-on activities. They are never too old to do hands-on activities. And I, as a parent, and I am older and I still love hands-on activities. So do add in hands-on activities. And my last is do have fun. Do have, spend time having fun. Do it. Again, if y'all have been here for a while, you know that I plan my homeschool around having fun. Yes, we knock out normal math and reading. I try to make it fun here and there where I can. But my main goal is to make sure that my kids and myself are having fun while learning. Learning and fun should go in hand in hand. It should not be a stressful time where they're like, oh, I have to do school. I want them to be like, oh, I'm doing school. I wonder what we're doing today. Are we doing a science experiment? Are we traveling down the trail of tears? Like, I want my kids to have fun learning because if they have a fun for learning, that means that we are growing lifetime learners. As in, when I'm, I don't want to say done, but when I'm done teaching them and they're ready to go to college or whatever they want to do outside of our homeschooling years, that I know that they'll be equipped because they have this fun or this drive for learning that started in our homeschool because I added fun to it. So they get excited about these things and they can go and explore what they want. Um, so like my daughter wants to be a vet. I have fun activities planned for her to help encourage her to continue on that path if that's what she wants. But she gets so excited, especially if we learn about animals and it's amazing how much fun, and it doesn't even have to be that. You can have board games, you can have just spending time as a family, hiking, outdoors. Just add fun, do have fun. Make learning fun for your kids. Huge, it makes a huge difference. It truly, truly does. And that are my, those are my do's and don'ts or don'ts and do's of homeschooling. And again, it's not limited to those. Those are just what I wrote down and it's nice seeing a variety of different answers. And like I said, this list can go on. I can make lots of lists of do's and don'ts. And you'll, of course, find your own as you work through the process of homeschooling. Um, things will change and that's okay. So, I hope you enjoyed my don'ts and do's video. And don't forget to head over to Miss Ingrid's channel and check out the playlist to see the responses of other homeschool moms, families, and yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed my video and I will see you guys in the next one. Mm -hmm.